The candidates are four debates in, and at this point in the race, their stump speeches and rallying cries are battle-tested. But there's still room for a surprise every now and again. Watch Marco Rubio's face as he gets a big reception to a line about welders. Make higher education faster and easier to access, especially vocational training. For the life of me, I don't know why we have stigmatized vocational education. Welders make more money than philosophers. We need more welders and less philosophers. And if we do that, all right, so that seemed like a genuine look of surprise there. So was it? Let's talk about that. I'm joined again by body language expert and author of The Power of Body Language, Tanya Ryman. Uh, welcome back, Tanya. Thank it's you. It's always fun to have you here. So Thank what did you. you make of Rubio's reaction? You know, that was the first time you see an actual genuine look. His eyebrows went up, which is the show of surprise. He put on this genuine smile as opposed to that polished one we're so used to seeing. In addition, he stuck his tongue out a little bit as well. Like he was thrilled, like a little kid. Ooh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the funny part was, though, right after that, Trump Trump's expression was one of like, seriously, he's getting applause? Like, what's up with that? So <laughs> it was interesting to see the go-between. Okay, so the next one is, let's watch um, Ben Carson as he talks about his tax plan and, and you say to pay attention to his yes, palms. Yes, watch his palms. When I say tithing, I'm talking about the concept of proportionality. Right. Everybody should pay the same proportion of what they make. You make $10 billion, you pay a billion. You make ten dollars, you pay one. Okay, so we can't see you his palms anymore, dollars. but we get the idea. Yeah. So, right. so what are we to make of that? All right. So, we know that people who use downward palms are quite often seen as more dominant. They're more alpha, right? This, when you're making a point, you go, "This is what I'm trying to tell you," as opposed to. Do you understand? See the submissive versus the more dominant gesture. So throughout this, early on, I was really impressed because I don't, I'm not always happy with the way Carson uses his hands, not for any other reason than perception of the audience. So today, uh, last night, I saw him using a lot of palm down gestures, and I thought, wow, he's really learning the difference. But then he starts talking here, and you notice the palms go back up. And that kind of tells you not that he's not being honest, but more so maybe he doesn't know 100% about this, and so he starts to feel like, hey, let me make sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Interesting. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so on to, um, what are we going to next? We're going to Governor Kasich, uh, the Ohio governor, and he's listening as yes. Donald Trump talks. Watch this his body good. language. Look at Libya. Look at Iraq. Look at the mess we have after spending $2 trillion, thousands of lives, wounded warriors all over the place who I love. Okay, all over. We have nothing. And I said, keep the oil. And we should have kept the oil, believe me. We should have kept the oil. And you know what? We should have given the oil. <laughs> okay, so did you see? I did. There were two things. If you watched his mouth, you saw actual anger coming out. But if you watched, he was leaning against the podium. His body is extended outward, and his hands are actually fidgeting, like grabbing onto it. And this is where we saw its actual anger. So he saw frustration in the mouth, and then anger in the hands, and actually it's also frustration leaking out there with like when is it going to be my turn to speak how come i'm not getting an opportunity and these two have a really tough time working together like when they talk it's it's ugly <laughs> it's ugly <laughs> and kind of enjoyable in a way okay so <laughs> let's let's watch donald trump why while um carly fiorina talks he does this little thing with his face and his and his tongue watch Mr. Trump ought to know that we should not speak to people from a position of weakness. Senator Paul should know that as well. One of the reasons I've said that I would not be talking to Vladimir Putin right now, although I have met him as well, not in a green room for a show, but in a private meeting. <laughs> okay, so we saw the, yeah. um, uh, you know, it just appeared to me like he was wetting his lips. Well, you know, Quite often, that's a sign of disgust. If you think about how a child sticks out their tongue, you put some peas in the baby's mouth, and what does he do? He pushes the peas out, and that's exactly what we see quite often here. Now, are there times they're just licking their lips? Yes, yeah, so what we're looking for is a baseline. But realize there's always a bottle of water right here that they can just grab when they need it. So at this point, you know that he's, he's automatically over the top anyway, so he doesn't care what his face exposes, what his hands expose. He's willing to put everything out there, so why not disgust as well? <laughs> yeah, he wasn't too happy with um, Ms. Fiorina yes, last no, night. Yes, I saw that. Tanya well. Ryman, thanks for stopping Thank by. Thank you. We always um, have fun when you're here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Have a good day. You too. Still to come in the newsroom, the U.S. will soon be playing a larger role in the investigation into that doomed Russian airliner. This is we learned how an explosive could have made it on board. Everyone knows FOMO, but not everyone knows FOMO'd. Fear of missing out on the home of your dreams. 
Get the real-time accurate Realtor.com app. increases the